Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, guys, Stacy and Chris with me. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the memorial blowing of trumpets, specifically the offerings, sacrifices, responsibilities, and requirements. Now, over here in Leviticus 23, starting at about verse 24, it talks about the memorial of blowing of trumpets. When y'all want to read that? Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, in the first day of the month, shall ye have a Sabbath, a memorial of blowing of trumpets, and holy convocation. So one of the first things I wanted to do was to look and find out the proper name for this. You hear people calling it Yom Teruah. Mm -hmm. but you know me, I always want to check to see what the name actually, what the letters actually are. Getting as close to the original as possible. So we come to the interlinear Bible and we see it right here. Zikaron Teruah. You remember that name, don't you, Stay? Remember we were doing um, some research on new moon days and, and the days of remembrance. And we did a whole poll on whether people wanted to call it Zikaron Day or, you remember that? Mm -hmm. So this word, what are those letters, Chris? Zayn, Kof, Resh, Ayin, Nun. Mm -hmm. When you, the O is gonna go to the Wa, oh. Wa. So it's Zikron. Right. Or you could say Zikaron. But that's, that's what they have down here, Zikron. Right. And what about this one? Tet, Resh, Wav. Now that one I'm sure is Ayin and then He. Mm -hmm. But now I'm not sure if that first one is a Tet. It says it's a Tau. Oh, okay. It's not a Tet because the Tet, when you're looking at modern Hebrew, it has that symbol, more like that for the Tet. Okay. So that's a Tau. So it would be. Stacy, you want to sound it out? Ta, ra, wa, i, ha, ha, hey, which is. Well, it's at the end of the word. So it's just going to make the ha sound like the, like the a soft ha sound like Yahawa. Mm -hmm. Thruaya. Zikron Duraya, or something like that, would be the actual name of the memorial of blowing of trumpets. Right. But anyway, let's stick with this chapter and let's look at the rules of the memorial blowing of trumpets. Stacy, you want to read those? Twenty-five. Ye shall do no servile work therein, but you shall offer a offering made by fire unto the Lord. Okay. Now, real simple. Those are the rules. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot packed in here and you actually have to go to other chapters in order to fill in the blanks of what it's saying here. And right. we will. Like, for instance, how it's talking about the offering made by fire. We're going to read about that. And then you see this part where it's talking about no servile work. We would have to go over to Jubilees chapter 50. To understand the rules of a Sabbath day because that's what it's talking about. Right. So we have to come over to the book of Jubilees because what we find is that they're very similar to the new moon day. But now to understand this offering made by fire, we have to come over to Numbers chapter 28. Thank you. Right. Now, this is really important. And this is the main reason why we're doing this class is because we're not very familiar with this offering that is to be made. I, I mean, you and I aren't. But when you get down here to verse 11, it starts talking about the offerings that are to be made at the beginning of the months. Right. So this would be talking about the new moon celebration. So you want to go down through here? Okay. In the beginnings of your months, ye shall offer a burnt offering unto the Lord, two young bullocks and one ram. Seven lambs of the first year without spot. Now, you got to understand, these are to be brought in to Jerusalem. 
Now, is it one person that's bringing all of these? It doesn't imply that. It just implies that this is what they're supposed to bring in. Because if you think about that, they were actually going to feed people with this food. It'd be kind of excessive if every household brought seven lambs and two bullocks. But if the community understand that they had this responsibility as a whole, then they don't have to worry about anybody going hungry. Right. And but we're going to talk about how this would look in modern days when you know we don't have large communities we have small families right. well let's look at verse 12 and three tenth deals of flour for a meat offering mingled with oil for one bullock and two tenth deals of flour for a meat offering mingled with oil for one ram now I did the math on this one time and this would feed about 2,000 people just the meat alone, mm -hmm. and you know, it is really about the meat because you're talking about the, this is a barbecue, and it's really all about the meat. And you got a little bit of bread, and then you got a little bit of wine. Right. So you can imagine how this went down in Jerusalem all those days when the people would come in to Jerusalem and all of this barbecuing was going on. Right. All right, let's go on to 13. And a several tenth deal of flour mingled with oil for a meat offering unto one lamb, and a burnt offering of a sweet savor, a sacrifice made by fire unto the Lord. Even back in the 90s when I read this for the first time, it all sounded like a barbecue. And their drink offerings shall be half of a hen of wine unto a bullock, and a third part of a hen unto a ram, and a fourth part of a hen unto a lamb. This is the burnt offering of every month throughout the months of the year. Yeah. So we're supposed to do this every month. Right. Right. And this last part sounds like a communion with this wine and this bread. Mm -hmm. Right. So every month this it's, it's, um, to me, you know, reminds me of all of the people who have communion every month. This is what they're doing. Right. And those who have in monthly barbecues are even closer to what we're supposed to be doing. And then we got a, even a goat in the action. What does it say? And one kid of the goats for a sin offering unto the Lord shall be offered beside the communal burnt offering and his drink offering. Yeah. So this is the part that goes to the priest. Okay. Yeah. And then so the rest of the food is for everybody else. Right. Yeah. So you could think even if there wasn't a larger community, this sin offering, which would typically be like a goat. Well, it is a goat in this case, mm -hmm. could feed up to 14 people. Okay. Yeah. And so my point is, is that this offering made by fire that we hear about is a feast. Right. You bring out the food as a sacrifice, whether you buy it from the store or you, you grow it yourself. Mm -hmm. It's a sacrifice because you're giving it away to hopefully people who cannot return it. They can't give right. it back. Those that need it. Those that need it. All right, so now if we look down through the scriptures for events that happened on the seventh month, the first day of the month, which would be the memorial blowing the trumpets. Of course, we have Leviticus 23 and 24, which we talked about. But we also have Numbers 29 and 1. And in the seventh month, on the first day of the month, you shall have an holy convocation. You shall do no sorrow work. It is a day of blowing the trumpets unto you. And ye shall offer a burnt offering for a sweet savor unto the Lord, one young bullock, one ram, and seven lambs of the first year without blemish. Okay, so now this monthly celebration is getting specific right. to the memorial of blowing the trumpets. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just go ahead. And their meat offering shall be flour mingled with oil, three tenth deals for a bullock, and two tenth deals for a ram. So this would all been going on down in Jerusalem. You could imagine how many people this would attract every year just to come down and take part in this. I mean, they, they got like seven cows. I mean, they got whole cows and seven lambs. Sort of like mm -hmm. a big family reunion. A very big family reunion. And one tent deal for one lamb throughout the seven lambs and one kid of the goats for a sin offering to make an atonement for you. Okay, so here are the offerings that are supposed to be made. 
on the first day of the seventh month. Besides the burnt offering of the month, and his meat offering, and the daily burnt offering, and his meat offering, and their drink offerings, according unto their manner, for a sweet savor, a sacrifice made by fire unto the Lord. So on top of what we saw in Numbers 28, here in 29, there's this additional. Right. So even bigger celebration. Like we said, the other one failed 2,000 people. Now we got more. Mm-hmm. coming in for this particular feast. So that would be the, the people that don't really come around on the main holidays, main holy days. Right. But again, this is a barbecue. And so in 2024, where instead of having these large communities, we have families. Well, now it only really takes one lamb or something like that, much smaller, but the same principle applies. Right. And it's the essence of the sweet aroma of this meat in this familial celebration, this holy convocation in honor of our Father, where people are being fed and cheer, you know, um, um, enjoy remembering these feast days that it's really all about. Mm-hmm. So we have these offerings that are to be made during the memorial blowing the trumpets, but we can't forget about the actual blowing of the trumpet. Some call it the day of shouting. Mm -hmm. For those who don't have a trumpet. Well, it may be the day of shouting, a day of raising our voices, you know, and how the trumpet is our voice, you know, vibrating through, you know, the ram's horn is, is, is actually our voice being amplified. So shouting would still have the same vibrations, wouldn't it stay? I don't think so. Yeah. So that's a part of it too. You have the offerings, the blowing of trumpets, the sacred assembly, right. and of course the timing of it, which would be on New Moon Day. So, how do you think we ought to celebrate the memorial blowing of trumpets? Well, someone, you guys got some ideas? Um, We're gonna ask them to do it down in the comment section. I guess we we'll give our ideas first. Well, doing it, um, you know. Just as it says, we do our, you know, our rest period. Um, and I think for us, we will uh, probably do a better job of doing what we now know as a barbecue. Yeah. So on the day before is when we'll have to do all of our preparation, all of our preparation, right? It's kind of like Passover mm-hmm. where we'll do all of the work leading up to it so that on the actual day, of memorial blowing the trumpets there won't be any work left all right. of the food will be cooked everything will be prepared but like you said this time there will be more of a barbecue involved mm-hmm. um um praise the lord we got two lambs really really early this year i wasn't gonna say anything <laughs> about them because there are those who will be going to the store and questioning mm-hmm. whether it's necessary to slaughter your own lamb i do believe that has something to do with it but i believe the family get together the eating together is is um more important more than important where meat comes from even if you just have bread and water right, right? you know mm-hmm. so that on the night that the trumpets blow we you know can can be already in full swing and then on the day of the memorial of blowing the trumpets we can have this communal familial festival in honor of our father in heaven right 